Hello everybody and welcome back to another video inside of my Minecraft survival world. So after a very long time, I have uh started using the new textures again. So um uh yeah, uh, this is going to take a little bit of getting used to since I'm just used to for example seeing this room with uh the old textures and now everything just seems a, a lot more smooth. So, uh, yeah, this will take a little bit of getting used to, but, uh, one of, one of my concerns was that things weren't gonna look as good, but now that I just really look at it, uh, well, the textures are really, really similar, so it's not like the, there's much of a difference, so I, I would say that I think I'm probably not gonna change anything, since everything, I would say, looks, uh, fine, um, and yeah, also another thing I did was, uh, I'm on 1.20.4 now. 1.20.4 released a long time ago, but, uh, I I've been on 1.20.1 this entire time. When I, uh, when 1.20 released, I, uh, 1.20.1 released before I could make a video, uh, in 1.20. So I've just been on 1.20.1 pretty much since 1.20 released, uh, and, and I, I never really updated to 1.20.2, 3, or 4, and, you, you know, I don't really know why, just, I just never really, uh, got to it, even though it's not really something that you do, it just, you go on latest release, and then, and then open the world, and boom, it's updated, it's not that hard, but I just didn't do it for some reason, but, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try and keep, uh, my world updated to the latest versions now. Um, okay. So, also, in between videos, I did make a to-do list. I have made many, uh, to-do lists before. They've never really lasted. I, I, that's mainly because, um, I, 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 I put them in the hallway right here, and the hallway was just constantly changing all the time, and I was constantly breaking stuff, and, uh, yeah, just a very non-permanent spot. Now, now, this spot is probably a little more permanent, uh, I actually, I do need to make an extended storage area, and I actually think I'm gonna put the entrance here, so, yeah, this, the, I won't be, don't be surprised if this uh, to-do list doesn't last very long either, but I actually, uh, extended storage area. I, I forgot to add this. Uh, okay, so all the things that are on my to-do list is a nether hub. Uh, you know, my nether portal is kind of just out in the middle of the nether. It's not really having a nether hub and having really easy access to, uh, the nether fortress, like making a long tunnel over there. Uh, would be really, really useful, and I don't have that yet, so Nether Hub is definitely on my agenda. I, I don't know when I'm gonna do it, but sometime soon. Uh, and the next thing is to explore the Nether, so that's things like, uh, finding Bastions, uh, for gold, because I, I need golden apples, and also, uh, uh, in Nether Fortresses, there's the Rib Armor Trim, which, uh, I actually really really like and i think it goes really well with my uh my minecraft skin so the rib armor trim is definitely something that i want to uh keep an eye out for because uh you'll you'll see you'll see when i eventually get it it's pretty nice um and then improve lake and as in the shape so you know uh i'm, I'm gonna just gonna quickly go and fly out here uh you can see yeah the lake I, I mean, it's terraformed and stuff, but it doesn't look all that natural, if I'm gonna be honest. So, what I mean by that is kind of adding in things like this. Um, kind of just adding in pockets of water. Uh, probably a lot bigger than this, but things like this, to uh, make it look a little bit less rectangular. And more, well, natural, because natural things aren't rectangular. And, um... And then a map room, because, well, th this is not really where a map should be. And I want to start recording uh, what my world looks like. Because, well, this area has changed 
quite a lot in the past uh, month or two. Uh, so I, I just want to... I should probably get another map down for that. And when I do that, I should probably make a map room and kind of start just recording the dates that I made the map. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of like a cool, be kind of like a cool history museum. And then, uh, the next thing is strip mine area. I don't really do all that much strip mining in this world. I probably should because diamonds, if I want to get netherite, which is the next thing, uh, are very, very, very useful. So, um, yeah, strip mine area. I actually think I might, uh, make a water elevator right here where the map is but i'm gonna have to move the uh, the map before i can do that and then uh, the next thing is on netherite because i've been in this world for a very long time and i still don't have netherite um uh yeah i mean i don't really need netherite but netherite's kind of cool so <laughs> yeah why 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 not um, and then, uh, as I said earlier, extended storage area. Yeah, I, I, I need some extended storage because I want to use, um, I want to use these shulker boxes, but I can't because I have to use them for stone and that's not very, yeah, I, I, I'd rather use them for something different. Okay, there's actually, this shulker box is actually not completely full, so I'm gonna put some stone in here and, uh. Uh, yeah, I actually don't need to have any stone in extended storage for now. But, um, uh, yeah, so, so what I'm going to do is actually, I think I'm gonna explore the nether because I need, I need a little bit more time to, uh, to plan for all these things. So I think, um, I'm gonna explore the nether in this video and then get, uh, make a map room. And then that'll let me make the strip mine area, and then I can sort out all the, uh, all the other things later. Um, so, yeah, I guess, I guess I'm gonna go to the nether now. Uh, exploring things like bastions and nether fortresses get extremely dangerous. So, I'm not exactly sure how I should come prepared. Uh, I should definitely put, um, some of my valuable stuff into the uh the ender chest why, why is there an ender chest in the ender chest um i'll put my pickaxe into here I'll, I'll keep my bow you know just uh these things and uh yeah that, that seems about it for what should be in my ender chest you know it'd be catastrophic if i were to lose um, all my things, which just probably reminds me, I should probably get a totem at some point, because, you know, that'd be very, very useful for, um, for, you know, not dying. Alright, I'm, I actually, I do need some more fireworks, and then after that, I think I'm all prepared. I have actually been, uh, going creeper hunting at night quite a lot, so I have a lot of gunpowder. Because earlier I was uh, running out a lot. So if I just uh, make some quick fireworks. Um, there we go. And then I'll go into the nether, mark down my coordinates, and start exploring. I haven't actually uh, explored the nether all that much. I I've, gone, I've gone a bit over in that direction and a bit in that direction. But other than that, not really. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go and... Uh, try and find a bastion and then also when I when I go to the bastion I might be able to find uh, some netherite upgrades and uh, netherite so if I do that'd be very good because then I don't have to go netherite mining as much all right well I think I'm gonna go off in this direction since I haven't been over here yet okay okay that was pretty quick I haven't been flying for that long, but I just found a bastion. Okay, how how should I get into the bastion? Okay, I I've uh I've lost it. It is right here. Okay, this is a pretty interesting bastion. I'm gonna Okay, because of the piglin brutes, I think I might wanna put my chest plate on. But maybe not. I'm not sure. 
Okay, there's a lot of piglin brutes everywhere. Piglin brutes are probably the by far the largest threat. Everything else is kind of just like, kind of just meh. Well, I'm gonna get this. Okay, golden carrots, very nice. Okay, okay, oh no. I'm gonna actually fly out for a second. Alright, I'm gonna need to get rid of all the piglins. Before I go into here. Alright, well, a crossbow, I guess I'll take that. And, okay, there's a piglin right here. Die. Okay, now I'm gonna go on to this section of the bastion. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, alright, that's not good at all. Two piglin brutes. Okay, I, I'm i not facing off against two. I will face off against one, but that that's about it. Okay, so I got uh, some stuff. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Piglin brutes have to be the most terrifying mob in this game, honestly. Okay, good thing that there was gravel down there. I actually thought I had my elytra equipped. Okay, I think I'm done with that bastion, but wow, that could have ended really badly. That definitely could have. I have to be so careful when, um... When I'm exploring uh, bastions, especially fortresses, maybe not so much. Oh, I got hot tourist destinations. Okay, that's that's pretty nice. Can I maybe uh, get the uh, the return to sender achievement? Actually, I haven't really achievement hunted all that much, but getting achievements would be kind of nice. Stop moving unpredictably. Yeah. Okay. I guess I, I guess I've already gotten the uh, the return to sender thing. Oh, there is a fortress right over here. Oh, ho oh, oh, did you see that m flying right there? That is some expert flying right there. Okay, it looks like that this fortress was pretty, uh, disappointing. Well, I'm just gonna, uh, keep exploring. I'm gonna try not to go too far, but still a pretty, uh, decent distance. And I'll hopefully find, uh, probably, honestly, probably a bastion is probably the most ideal, but a fortress is still pretty nice as well. Well, it's n it's not a treasure bastion, but uh, still a bastion of the nonetheless, so I'll I'll accept it. Okay, 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 okay. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, now that now that was actually terrifying. Okay, I'm gonna land on this platform right here and just. The night, all of the piglins that try to kill me. Oh, oh, the snout trim. That that's interesting. I'll take that. Oh, two soul, two, two soul speed three books. What? Alright, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna put some of the stuff that I've gotten into the, uh, shulker box. Now, because my inventory space is running out. With two soul speed three books and a gold, golden boots with soul speed three. Alright, I'll take that. I'll take that in a heartbeat. Alright. Wow, wow. That, that, that's actually pretty surprising, okay. 
I, I, I didn't actually, I kind of forgot Soul Speed existed. Uh, well, well, when I, when I was flying around, but I, I, okay, okay, I'm just gonna run away. All right, now, uh, time to go back to the, uh, the danger zone. I'm gonna take off my Elytra. Where are all the piglins? I mean, well, one or two piglins aren't that bad, but if there's a whole horde of them, they're dangerous. Full speed three would have been really useful right there. Okay. Okay. No. <laughs> Okay, now, n okay, I'm gonna have a lot of close calls, and I don't think I really like that that much. Okay, two piglin brutes, I'm not going down there. Okay, the snow banner pattern, I'm not really, oh, more, more soul speed three boots, uh, I'll take those. Uh, I'm not really the biggest on banners, I don't know, it just, there, there's just so many things in Minecraft. That that I just completely forget about. There's just so many opportunities that I miss. Alright. What the heck are you doing? This is not... You're, you're, you're really freaking me out, you know. With all those noises you're making. Uh, two Soul, Soul Speed 2 books. I'll take those. Because remember. Uh, Soul Speed you can't get from villagers. So, uh, if, I'll, I'll take... I need to take all that I can... You know, ideally, I'll be able to find a, uh, a treasure bastion, because then I'll be able to get some netherite. And that, that's probably the, uh, the most ideal outcome. But I, I'm, I'm still pretty, getting pretty lucky still. Okay. I just, I don't want to die. Normal piglin are pretty easy to kill since they can just get one shot bowed. But the piglin brutes, they take they take multiple hits. Okay, I killed that ghast. Okay. So many piglin. Okay, I think it's safe now. Uh, I don't know if I should take Soul Speed 1 books. I'll, I'll, I'll take them just in case. You know, it, w it wouldn't hurt. If, if I have to sacrifice some inventory space, uh, I, I will probably get rid of this, but a uh, Soul Speed 1, I'll, I'll take that. You know what? The, these, these bastions actually are pretty useful because of all this gold, uh, in, I don't know, this area right here. It, it's quite a lot. Of gold and uh, I'm I'm not sure if that, if there are many chests though I'll have to see. All right, I'm gonna kind of go around in a circle, so I've kind of gone around the lake of this, and now I'm gonna go over in this direction. Cause yeah, you can see the uh, the z-axis is decreasing now. Oh yeah. Oh yes, okay, this is exactly what I wanted. A treasure bastion. Uh, now... These also are the most dangerous bastions, so I, I should probably keep that in mind. Might be a good idea. Um, so I just need to be ready to, uh, to shoot some Beglin Brutes. Right in this area, because this is the first place I'm gonna loot. Uh, I'm also going to actually get some blocks out. Okay. Yep. Be prepared. Be prepared. There's two. There's two. There we go. Okay. Those two are dead. 
now. Okay, there's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, an another eight upgrade. Nice, nice, nice. And some iron and that kind of stuff. And pig step. Very nice. I'll actually take the spec the spectral arrows. Okay. Uh, can I find see any more piglin brutes? Oh, I can see three three down there. Okay, I'm gonna try and shoot the ones that I can. Trying to get their health low. Alright, I don't know if there are chests down here, though. I don't think... I don't think there are. So I, I'm just gonna leave this whole area now and just try and focus on the treasure room. Okay, this piglin bird's running at me. Alright, okay. Alright, so you can die? Why? The arrow went through the piglin brute, excuse me. Okay. Whew. Oh my goodness, this is actually really... Okay, that gold burned. This is very, very stressful. I'm gonna try to, uh... I'm gonna try and go down slowly. That could have been terrible. I don't have an Elytra on, just so you know. So, that, that, yeah, definitely could have ended badly. Um, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna try and go down slowly. Um, slowly fight off all the piglin. And what's in here? Oh, another, uh, smithing template. Or, well, netherite upgrade. Nice. I'll, I'll take all those bone blocks. I think I'm gonna... Fill up my shulker box again. Since I have all this new loot. Okay. I'm, I'm running out of space. Alright. Okay, I need to get to this bridge part up here. Oh, there was a block right there. And, and it made me hit my head on the block instead of jump. Oh, that could have ended badly. Oh, there's two, there's two, there's two. Oh, oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, I almost died. I almost died. I, I I can't believe it. Well, I, I actually, I can't believe that I almost died, but... Oh, that, that was way too close for comfort. Alright, I've got some blocks now. I'm gonna make my way to the middle. Okay, oh, there's a brute. There's a brute. There is a brute there. I did not see that guy. Kill him. Okay. I think it's safe now. Okay, ancient debris. Nice. A diamond sword. I'll take it. So, ancient debris and another right scrap. Very nice. And I also got another, uh, uh, another right upgrade. And a ton of iron. It would have been it would have been nice if there was another chest, but that that's okay. What? Oh my! Oh, that was a sneaky piglin right there. Okay, I I I think that was enough traumatic experience for me for for one day. Okay, yeah, that that. That was definitely a lot, but I also got a ton of stuff, so I think it was probably worth it. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll wait until I'm back at my base to uh, review all the stuff that I got. 
All right, so here are all of my findings. So some of the highlights are the soul speed uh, boots. So I got uh, two, two soul speed, uh, three books, uh, two soul speed, two books, and one soul speed, one book. Uh, I got I got a bunch of bone blocks, some diamond tools. I got a bunch of iron, a lot of gold, which is going to be very useful. I think I actually, hmm, actually no, I'll I'll make more golden apples when I need to. Uh, a couple of soul speed three golden boots, uh, a few diamonds, pig step, some netherite upgrades, uh, the snout armor trim, a lot of obsidian, um. And, uh, that, that, that's about it. So, yeah, uh, pretty good expedition, I would say. Uh, the last thing that I want to do, uh, is add Soul Speed 3 to my boots. Uh, nine, <laughs> 19 levels, that, that's a lot. Okay, well, I have, it, it, are these the best boots in the game? Well, obviously, I need to upgrade it to, uh, Netherite, but if this is Netherite, are these the best? Uh, I I don't know. I'm I'm probably missing one enchantment, or maybe I'm not. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I'll I'll just I'll just uh sort all these. I'll actually combine these two books here. Why is this twelve levels? That's completely ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that that does not make sense. Yeah, I I don't know. I can't really comprehend the logic there. Um. Well, actually, I do have enough to uh, make a netherite ingot. Well, I do have this netherite ingot right here, but I'm not, I'm not gonna use this because uh, I need, I need it for well the item frame. But uh, yeah, so one netherite ingot, not not that bad. I I mean it's not great. It could be a lot better, but could could be a lot worse too, you know. So yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time uh, sorting all these out. I actually have a lot of smith uh, netherite upgrades. That's that's pretty nice. Um, and yeah, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. It was a little bit different from a uh, normal. I don't usually go exploring, but I actually I want to do that quite a lot because well, there there's still a ton left in Minecraft to explore, like ancient cities, woodland mansions, that kind of stuff. So. Uh, so look forward to that in the future. Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.